Hey everyone, the Black Queen here with another episode of Queen Reacts, and today I'm getting to this episode, this epi this week's episode of MLP Friendship Magic Season 8, Episode 19, On the Road to Friendship. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing this is going to be a Trixie episode, at least Trixie's going to be in it, maybe also a Starlight episode. But, uh, yeah, there's not really much I know about this episode, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going to be involved those two, maybe they'll go into a place, I don't know. Uh, last time we saw Trixie, I think she was on tour or something, but no, that was the, uh, the first time that we saw them, uh, together, it was the tour, that episode where she was going on tour, that, that, uh, way to go, dumb dumb, you really mess, mess things up this time, tour, or whatever it was, because, uh, I just watched that, like, today, actually, so, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's the same tour, maybe it's something different, maybe they're going somewhere else, but, uh, yeah, let's just go right into it. Three, two, one, play. I don't know, folks. She's been in there a long time. <gasps> oh. Do you suppose the terrifying trunk escape is too much for her? What if the great and powerful Trixie can't yes, Scott. escape? <gasps> But if you're Escape. There, That's funny. It's spelled exactly like the word escape. Why our volunteer, of course. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Well. <laughs> Trixie, that was an amazing show. Flurry Heart and I loved it. I'm so glad we decided to come. You two have a real chemistry. The oh wow! Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is gonna please some fans then. The way you two work together, it's like you've known each other as long as Twilight and I have. It was pretty fun. Of course it was. There's nothing better than a bond with another pony. You can share all kinds of things. Sunshine, sunshine, oh yay yay! <laughs> Good job, thank you. <laughs> it's been so long since that I since that's been done. I think. Magic for now. The great and powerful Trixie doesn't change. Uh huh. My little boy. All right. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I knew this where this episode is heading ish. Uh, like they're gonna be going somewhere probably because uh, it's still I haven't they don't think they've said anything but uh, the road to friendship. I'm guessing that's either. Metaphorical, or they're actually going somewhere, because, you know, that's a good possibility. Alright. Friendship, friends, friendship, friends, all the friends and other stuff, and acquaintances. As much as I love my one pony show, it's always nice to come to Ponyville and perform with my great and powerful assistant. Cadence is right. We do work well together. Mm -hmm. Doing a show with you is almost as much fun as counseling students. I mean, I don't really school. ship it, but I get it. <gasps> Which I'm supposed to be doing right now. Wait, road to friendship. I thought it was on the road to friendship. Excuse me, Miss Powerful. <laughs> Usually ponies just call me. Yeah, Pony. I'm pretty sure that's not but a good Ms. nickname or nice uh, title. From here, I don't know. Sadler, Radio, I, what it's called. I have seen nothing that compares with your wonderful. Oh, he's story. from a. Would you consider blessing my homeland with it? Saddle Arabia? I guess that makes sense. Out on tour. But Saddle Arabia is much farther than my usual route. That's some salty Arabia. <laughs> and uh, my caravan might not be suited for an extended tour. Mine is new and quite spacious. If it would help persuade you, I would happily trade it for yours. Trade it? Heavens no! This is more than just some great and powerful wagon you see before you. It is it's her house. It is transportation. Wow. It is my own. Ponies moonwalking, that looks weird. Lonely nights on the road. Very well. Then I must see as many of your performances as I can. If I cannot convince you to bring your tour to Saddle Arabia, I must be prepared to relate its magnificence to your many fans there. Many fans, you say? Oh, she has fans. Well, I suppose I could That's surprising. Anyway. Wonderful. Nah. I look forward to seeing you on but the yeah. road. And if you change your mind about the caravans. Wait, Cartoon Network. Hmm. It's 
just so far away. Of course, I love visiting new and exciting places. It, I am a Is this Starlight's gu guidance counselor room? All. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like your mind's made up. Not quite. The road is a lonely place. She's gonna ask to... Yeah, so. okay, I can see. I still I see where this is going. I might convince my great and powerful assistant to come along. Really? Of course. You're not just my assistant and my counselor. You're also my friend. And what's better than a road trip with friends? Nothing. There's a lot of shipping this fuel in this. This is the best magical road trip ever. I should probably get some pony to cover my student counseling duties while. Well, wow, a lot of people have some serious personal problems. Uh, uh, pony problems. Trixie, are you alright? I guess right? personal is, is a word. One caravan for two, all set. Oh, you brought luggage. Or maybe not. I, know. <laughs> I mean, of course you brought luggage. You bet I did. Everything two ponies need for the road trip of their lives. Three 1,000 piece puzzles, one copy of Dragon Pit, and the best board game in the history of ponies, my famous collection of campfires. Oh, yeah, I just got that. There's a. Playable raft. Uh, Uncommon Bond. Did I forget something? I can pop back to the castle and grab it. Oh, no. It isn't that. You just brought too much stuff. Yeah, maybe we don't. I mean, you could fit that in there. You can. It's not that much. <gasps> we just needed a little great. What are those? Marbles? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, who am I kidding? My wagon is too small for us. I understand if you're having second thoughts. Second thoughts? Are you kidding? This wagon isn't small, it's cozy. And there's no such thing as too cozy. Yeah, well, there is then, such a thing. I guess it's time to hit the road. Uh, I'll, I'll start us off. Oh. Oh, the, oh, they're her smoke bombs. Okay, maybe there is such a thing as too cozy. Okay, I, mean, I think now I understand that one scene from a uh, season six finale. You're sure you? Or like she woke up and then all those fireworks went off and smoke and stuff. I'm sure. And you're not backing out. The two of us sleeping in that cozy caravan could be oh. tricky. Trixie, there's plenty of hot. Wait, tricky, Trixie. I, did don't anyone else catch? I don't know. It. I'm not backing out of the greatest and most powerful road trip bonding experience two Yeah, there is a lot of shipping in this episode. Well, I don't know if they're forcing it or that. not. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm pretty sure all the shippers are going crazy. <sighs> Thank goodness we're not like Twilight or the others. They probably sing a song about it. And you're going to sing a song. <clears throat> Oh, roll credits. Oh, maybe that's why I heard that. I get maybe the uh, they mistitled it. Maybe the song's called "On the Road to Friendship" and the episode is called "Road to Friendship." It's kind of like another apples to the core. And she said she didn't need to bring the raft. Wait. Why inside though? Wouldn't you want to do it underneath or something? Actually no, that might not be that might not work. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, and this is that one place from uh the episode what episode some pony watch over me. It looks like the same place. I'm talking over the song, most likely for copyright reasons, but I'm still kind of listening. I can multitask. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, that was a cool, that was a good song. I wouldn't say one of the best, but it's at least one of the better ones of the season. I've learned the hard way that life on the road requires very specific supplies, and we only have so many bits, so we'll have to spend them wisely. Oh. 
Or did they bring? How much? How many Sorry bits did they bring? Sorry about losing bits on street food. Oh, it's fine. Falafel bonding, right? <laughs> Besides, we still have enough for hay cakes and juice. That's it. Four bits. Um, why don't we go there? Oh no no no! I always buy my hay cakes here. So we're just going to wait in line for hours. Uh, which is totally cool. I mean, it's already the worthy of a right? of an argument. It's not that. I don't know why it has to go downhill like that. We weren't able to get everything on my list, but we are definitely set for breakfast. And I'm sure we'll find out that waiting in that super long line was worth it. A few hiccups always happen. <laughs> we'll be no, back on I'm the sorry. road to friendship after a good night's sleep. Roll full. <gasps> Thought so. Sure, we'll find something. Nope. No. Sorry. Nope. Oh, full. Nope. Ah, oh, the Glow Pass Festival. Some nebula is no doubt filled to the brim. Luckily, travelers such as ourselves. Oh, yes, yeah, Is she going to be in this episode? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> She's you kind of my favorite pinner, I think. Yeah. Don't even worry about it, you said. You might have thought to make a reservation. Um, I've been with hey, you. Hey, move to move the volcano. It'll be beautiful. What we'll never guess done? what happened. I don't know, but I'm starting to think you aren't as great and powerful an assistant as I thought. Wow. So you just brought me along to do your legwork? No bit. <sighs> no, of course not. I'm sorry. I'm just frustrated. I was really looking forward to a relaxing night in a nice room. Oh, me too. But since there's a there's the, uh, no room in there's the, the inn, thing, whatever it was called. Lucky we've got the wagon. Sleeping in tight quarters bonding. Yay. I would get very claustrophobic, probably. <laughs> However, I could probably live with it. Ah. Oh, I hate Is that. There something I can do to make things more comfortable for I, you? you could I just want that box to, like... Oh. Well. I want that box to like uh, fall down the and then just, items that we'll just smoke. Years to collect. Just, uh, I don't know. We could try switching hammocks. Fine. Wow. Who's snoring? Wow, Starlight. Starlight! Starlight! I think there's a wild animal outside! <laughs> Wow. Starlight! I was expecting a more exaggerated animation, I'm sorry. but. Your snoring is a bit. Um, oh, what? I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Yeah, I do that. I had my village convinced we were being attacked by bears every night. <laughs> well. <clears throat> but we probably need a better solution here. Wow. That actually looks pretty badass. <laughs> The prayed in powerful Tisky. <laughs> Sleep well. Sure no. did. Is uh, that the last of the hay cakes? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Hmm. And she's going to have the last of the drink. More juice. I would have had the yes. juice over the I pancake we'll or hay cake. What a glorious morning! Oh. I can't tell you how much I am looking forward to the first show of your tour. Is he going to be following us for the whole time? I do not know. I wonder what the what, what he, his deal time. is. Do you suppose the terrifying trunk escape is too much for a pony who drinks all the juice and talks oh, nonsense? Oh, I thought she was going to say drink all the time. <laughs> the great and powerful Trixie can sleep because her roommate snores like an Ursa major. Oh. But if you're there, who's in here? Who? There's not much room in here. At least you don't have to sleep in it with another pony. Wow. <laughs> this show is much better than Ponyville. Wow. Oh, would you like the last carrot? I know how fond you are of eating the last of things. Mm -hmm. oh, What's up, Doc? It may 
can't make me thirsty, and we don't have anything to drink. Unless so... you drink it all, or whatever. The good news is, I'm so exhausted I could sleep through a stampede of wild boars, which you'll be delighted to know is only slightly louder than your snoring. Well, wow. well, I'm looking forward to rehearsing the act with you all night. So I mean, this is kind of both their faults. They kind of they packed horribly. Makes Jane, the Jamestown That's settlement packed better than them. Well, I'm sorry you're so miserable. Really? Because if you wanted to make things more comfortable, you could always pair down a bit. Oh. Well, since you're so concerned about space, you can have it all. I'll sleep under the stars where at least the wild animals will be quieter than you. Wait, so shouldn't Starlight sleep under the starlight? Um, I do not mean to interrupt, but it seems there is trouble on the road to friendship. <laughs> oh. You think? Wow. <gasps> Where's my wagon? She stole it? He traded it to that oh. pony from Saddle Arabia for his. He even threw in a pair of robes. I'm pretty sure that might have been a problem. I traded the old, worn-out wagon that was too small for us for this nice, new, spacious one that we can both enjoy. <laughs> Who said you could do that? No, Pony. I just did it. <sighs> now we both have plenty of room, and you didn't even have to give anything away. There's something oh, special about that. Uh, about that uh... I did give something away. I gave away my wagon and my best friend. Wait. You were better friends with that beat up old wagon than you are with me. Well, it's easy when the wagon is a better friend. It this is what Rarity Dash would say. Away. Just they'll kiss ridiculous. to make up. Oh, I'm pretty ridiculous. sure he'll say that in, fact, in his reaction. This whole tour is ridiculous. I don't even know why I invited you in the first place. Well, maybe I should just head home. I think that's a very good idea. And you can take this horrible giant caravan with you. SpongeBob. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. As you wish. Oh. Goodness, for oh, Miss Powerful. Yeah, but where is your assistant? I had hoped providing you with a more comfortable means of conveyance would allow you to once more dazzle the crowds with mystifying feats of magic. Normally, that sort of flattery would suffice. But today, we must discuss your dishonest and unfair procurement of my wagon. I desired your wagon and provided one of equal or better value in return. It seems like a perfectly honest and fair trade to me. Unfortunately, it is more nuanced than that. Is there something special sure, about the wagon? I'm not sure. Besides the fact that it looks like her. If you'll excuse me. Um. I am willing to wait as long as you are. <laughs> we'll just see about that. Well. <laughs> you know, even if I was willing to reverse the trade. You don't have my caravan to offer in return. Oh, details! Oh. It's too, it's too heavy, isn't it? Or, okay, maybe not. Two of us go riding nowhere, spinning and we're on the way back home. Sorry. I know Beatles music is like, heavily copyrighted. Your song really inspired us. Wow. We decided we need to head off on the road to friendship too. It sure beats the road to deliveries. Yeah, sometimes traveling together is hard. You reminded us you can also make it fun. Thanks to you. And this is where she thinks differently. Hot beverage. Thank you, no. 
I mean, no thank you. What are you two doing? Taking a stand by lying down. Not that you care, Wagon. It's called peaceful layer. protest. I'm afraid I'm still not interested, despite your assistance, convenient appearance. Trixie, I came back to apologize. I should never have traded away the wagon. I mean, there yeah, that is kind of true. It you can't just trade something away without if them knowing. If you were friends, I suppose I'd be honor bound to reverse the trade. Okay, fine, we're friends. Best friends who share a deep bond but weren't prepared for the emotional challenges of traveling. Happy? <laughs> I'm still unconvinced. Yeah. Perhaps you could prove so your friendship. That. How? No, we could do our friendship chant. All right. What friendship chant? Our world famous chant of friendship that we do all the time because we're such great friends. Interesting. Magic chant. Magic. <laughs> Dini. Oh. Wow. wow. This is really cringy, but it's funny. <laughs> that was the worst friendship it was. I have ever heard. I'm glad and he didn't fall for it. Clearly making it up as you went. But only true friends would be willing to act ah, okay. so ridiculous for one another. You'll get back the wagon. Though I'd suggest heading back to Ponyville. I'm not sure Saddle Arabia is ready for this. That's fair. Okay. So, what was the point of this I'm episode? Sorry, your Saddle Arabian tour was ruined. Honestly, I don't think I could have stood one more second on the road. At a certain point, I didn't even like traveling with myself. Mm hmm. It is a lot harder than I thought. Still, I'm glad we tried. Mostly so we know not to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's made our friendship greater and more powerful than ever. Um, you know, they forgot. Plenty of room in here. They for forgot. One wow. Is the show over? Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. So that was an interesting episode. I'm not gonna say it's one of my favorites. Uh, clearly the people that like to ship them are gonna favor it, but, uh, it, I'm, I'm not really a shipper of it, so that's kind of out of the question for me. But, uh, yeah, it's... I gotta say, it was a little predictable, a lot, but, uh, and then I was also kind of confused. Like, I thought there was, like, some sort of, a you know, some sort of significance with her wagon, like, did she hide something in it, or was, like, was, like, a, a childhood item? Or something, I don't know. We don't actually know anything about Trixie's background. Oh, except for that one guy apparently being her dad. I think it's her dad. That one guy from, uh, uh Lost Pegasus. No, yeah, Lost Pegasus, I think that. Anyways, uh, I'm pretty sure they could have at least done more at the conclusion of this because it seems like, uh, the episode was, hey, here's an idea, let's do this. And then at the end, that didn't happen or it was, it sucked. And the entire episode is pretty much pointless, but, like, you know, friendship is the lesson. That's what it kind of felt like. It just felt like uh, the entire episode was just about to teach one lesson, not really to have any other uh, significant event to, uh, you know, at least be successful. So it felt like a lot of things were unresolved. Like, uh, there wasn't that much to be, like, to be worked out. And uh, the conclusion was pretty much just, like, back where they left off. Like, not much. Like, even though she claimed, like, uh, the friendship was better, I think it just feels, like, the same. You know, they're always, they're always gonna be times where, uh, they're gonna have fights like that, or, like, ongoing arguments. That's just how people are. That's, there's never gonna be, like, one fight, and then they learn from it, and then never have to fight again. But, uh, I don't know, I'm rambling on, so I hope you enjoy the commentary. Oh, wait, hold on. I'd give this episode a 6 out of 10. Okay, there's something. Uh, have a good commentary. God bless. Stay safe. Have a nice day. And as always, goodbye.